Good afternoon, we're back with another video. Today I'm gonna to be talking about my garden holes and then the little end piece. I don't know if you can see that right there. Little end piece here. That's spewing water. I'm gonna turn it on, give you an example. Okay, right there, it's spewing water. So, gotta change that. And also, when I went to go grab this the other day, this part right here, some piece in there broke. Oh, well. Partially works, but I'm gonna change that out too. So stick around and watch how I do it. Alright, so what we're gonna do is cut off, well, a little bit below there. We're gonna cut off right about there, cut all the way around. We got this little blade. Kind of has some glue in there. But be careful if you don't know what you're using, put on some gloves or something. Hopefully that'll help. Um, this is the nozzle I bought, Gilmore. Bought it off of Amazon. The link will be in the description. And also the repair holes leak. The little metal piece to go over to tighten it on there so it's gonna fit on like that and then the nozzle piece it's gonna replace that portion right there Let's start by taking this part off yeah, it should take long Still got water in it. How much water got in it? Alright, back. Yeah, if you feel there's some metal that goes down a little bit, feel to right there. That's soft. That's where we're gonna make a cut. down here so I don't cut my finger or anything. Some people like to to score it so that it, it helps to cut through it but eh, whatever floats your boat. Careful not to cut your finger. All right, so see, there's some of that metal that I was talking about. I don't know if you can see that. It's like right there. So yeah, try and get it. This is not straight all the way, but try and get it as leveled as possible. Uh, mine's kind of crooked. Whatever. Well, we're gonna put this piece on next. Let me go get my uh, screwdriver for this one. Uh, Toolkit thing, but I, f I knew where this one was and also the other flathead that's similar to this. And I've had this for like, I don't know, almost what? Yeah, over over 10 years now. They, they still haven't broke, made by Stanley. Get this cracking. Take that piece off. It's kind of under a bit tight already. Unscrew it. You fast forward the video at this point. Okay. Yeah, that's really down in there. Oh, this another one. <sighs> Too 
ready to come loose. Okay, well, that's good enough for now. Alright. Damn, how much water is in this ship? Alright, so you're gonna take this piece and hopefully this is gonna go in there. Maybe this will be an issue. Uh, okay, maybe this hose is too small for it. Ah, there we go. Just takes a bit of muscle. Ah, look at that mark I got there. Uh, let's see if I could use this here. Mess up my hand. try and get it all the way up to the base because I didn't cut it even this sides up to the base and then this side has a little bit of piece but it's whatever I didn't expect it to be that perfect all right and then now to put this piece on here did I do this wrong oh boy loosen this Okay, learning lesson. Put this piece on the hose first. Have it sitting back here chilling. Then put this piece in. Then bring this piece back up to here. Lock it in. Learning lesson. I gotta unscrew this. I didn't want to have to take this part apart. Alright, so now that I got it apart, put that clamp there, put that clamp there right up against the base. See how the picture is? Right up against the base of it. Squeeze. Okay, try and line back up these screws. That's why I didn't want to take it apart. It's like crap to line back up. Okay, start tightening it. I'm not really a perfectionist, so. I always keep pressure while tightening it. If I keep pausing and you hear me pause or I sound like a bit slow, slow I'm out here dodging mosquitoes because I stay in Florida. Okay, push that part up to the base. I mean, if you had a power tool, you could probably use one, but I don't think you need one. This you can just tighten by hand. Unless you're extremely, uh, I don't want to say weak. Your muscles aren't as developed or 
just need more oomph. Then use a little power tool. Okay, yeah. So this is bolted together now. Shouldn't get any leak out of that. Boom, that's on there. That is secure. It's even pinching on the side here. Alright, that's it there. Now for this next part, I'll put the, the price of it down in the, the description. I don't remember paying too much for it. I think everything totaled up under under 20 bucks, so. You want to make sure yours come with this little washer in here. It helps create a seal between this metal here and this here. And I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to screw on one of these. So. Tight. Which way is on or which way is off? I think this is on. Yeah. So it's off now. Alright, this is off or should be off. I hope it's off. And I'm going to go turn on the water. Here's a moment of truth, but much to my surprise, I'm looking at this thing here. And I'm like, what is this thing for? I want to go read it. And it, I don't know if you can see that good. It's also Gilmore Products, Flexocon. I don't really know what these things are for. Somebody can tell me down in the comments. Much appreciated. Yeah, I know I can Google it, but I'm not going to. Alright, so. Let me turn it on. No leak. It's making a sound, but no, no leak. And slowly turn the nozzle. Take my strong hand. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Water my wall. Alright, so yeah. That's how you hook it up. Alright, if you liked the video or you found it helpful, or even if you didn't find it helpful, um, subscribe, like, dislike, leave a comment, please leave me a comment, those help me more, so I can know if this content's good or not, from just like wasting my time, just put it in the comments. Alright, take care, have a good evening.